Jane King, live at the NASDAQ, brought to you by Circulus Digital Media, Indiana's locally owned digital media expert. It appears new data on cancer treatments could change the future of medicine. Jane King breaks down the latest numbers after oncologists met in Chicago to discuss clinical trials. New data on a breast cancer treatment from AstraZeneca and the Japanese drug maker Daiichi Senko brought a standing ovation from cancer doctors attending their annual meeting in Chicago recently. And with good reason, the drug in HER2 enabled women with advanced breast cancer to live six months longer than others treated with conventional chemotherapy. Evidence suggests the drug could one day be used to treat many other types of tumors. Also, a small drug trial is having a seismic impact on the world of oncology. After after six months of an experimental treatment, tumors vanished in all 14 patients diagnosed with early stage rectal cancer who completed the study by the time it was published. The experimental therapy was so successful that none of the patients who completed the trial needed a planned follow-up treatment of chemo radiation or surgery, nor did they have any significant complications from the drug. Because the sample size was small, more follow-up is needed. Now, other findings from the ASCO conference, liquid biopsy shows who can skip chemotherapy after colon surgery, saving money and stress. An osteoporosis drug was tied to a lasting benefit in breast cancer, and acetaminophen interfered with cancer immunotherapy. Researchers and physicians will take the results of these studies and others and use them to further look for ways to prevent and treat various forms of cancer. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your Juneteenth Business Report.